Hello, Sharif Medawar here, and I want to talk to you a little bit if you're a real estate agent, real estate broker. What do you do? How do you actually produce results? How do you make the most of what you have? So you just got the license or you have the license, but you're not producing much. What do you do? The first thing and most important thing is join a company that is big, that has systems, that have methods, so you can learn from them and you can use their brand and their name to help open doors for you. Something like Sotheby's, Berkshire Hathaway, etc. So get with a company that has a system. Build rapport with other real estate agents and brokers and see what you can offer them and help them so they can help you reciprocate because there is a competition, but there is cooperation and it gets tense at times. But be there, try to help others and they will help you because there is a principle of reciprocity in life. So get with a big company and start helping others and building rapport with others. Number three, go where the buyers are. Go where the sellers are. Where are the buyers and sellers? Investors club, seminars. And don't be so rigid. Listen to what they want to do. It's great to work with investors because an investor, you're going to do with him or her more than one just transaction. If you're in residential real estate, listen to investors in residential real estate. They're going to do more than one transaction for you. Be willing, this is another point here, be willing to offer your services for free as educational stuff. So you can actually tell people, let me get your business card. You have a property over here. Let me, I, I do a study on the trends in that zip code. I'll send you the information. And actually, we have a whole training on how to understand trends in any market and get that information free. And you can actually, as a real estate agent, you'll have a lot of data that you can share with these people. Give it to them for free. See, when people get information from you, when they feel you're a source for data and for actual knowledge, they're going to connect with you. And even if they have a friend or family member they're going to use for the sale, don't worry about it. Because the next thing they're going to do is they're going to refer you because they're going to feel like they owe you one. So work with people with the principle of abundance. And when you're giving, more shall come to you. So work with a big company, build rapport with other real estate agents and brokers, go where the buyers and the sellers are, communicate with them and offer services for free. And the more you give, the more you'll get. And number five, get into commercial real estate as well. Don't just stay into residential because commercial is huge. Commercial, one transaction can change your life. And why not? If you're going to actually deal with first-time homeowners plus investors, you want to elevate the game and present to them what's coming next, which is commercial, which is the bigger game. Commercial is phenomenal. Assisted living facilities. You can actually go into apartment buildings. You can go into storage facilities. There's so much to do in commercial. Retail. We have trainings on retail. We have brokers that came in, got retrained, and they said, we've never been trained like this. We've been trained on how to do the paperwork only. And the uh, next thing also is you get into the game. Why not propose to a client, I would like to do this deal. Would anybody be interested in partnering with me? And maybe you can go in with your commission. You have to get approval from your broker with whom you hang the license. If not, you can become an independent broker. If not, you can actually go and set up your own syndication with all the clients. After two, three years, you're going to build so many clients, I got to know you. Imagine you can now offer them the buildings and stay in the building as a syndicator, as an actual a person who raises the capital gets the deal put together and you make cash flow and you make profit on the upside and you can double dip with commissions and other fees the game is endless do you have to be a commercial real estate broker or a real, a real estate residential broker or agent to make it happen real estate not at all not at all i took the license in the 90s because i wanted to be in the north things in california so i can keep getting my information can keep getting my updates and I love their news, I love all the access they give you, but I don't need it. Many of my students are completely 100% successful without even having a license. But you as a licensed person, take that to your advantage and learn how to position yourself to make the most possible of what you already have. This is not a part-time gig. You can make it what you wanna make it. Become an entrepreneur and, and, and be organized and produce a lot. The need is out there, make it happen. Thank you.